back to my channel. Today's video is an affordable back to school makeup and outfit video. Now this makeup and the outfits obviously are not just excluded to back to school. You can wear this makeup look for pretty much anything. It is very wearable and the outfits are super casual. I uh, use drugstore makeup for the tutorial and the clothing is super affordable. So really excited to share this. I'm also excited because I am collabing with my really good friend here on YouTube. Her name is Elena McGowan or Elle Pearls on YouTube. She was Elle Pearls when I subscribed to her. I've been subscribed to her for a couple of years now and I remember finding her and I remember uh, texting my friend uh, Laura Miss Lola Lynn here on YouTube and I was like hey are you subscribed to this girl and she was and I think uh, Alana had around like 30,000 subscribers at that time so it's really cool that we're uh, collabing now we've become friends she has the cutest dog she has the cutest little dog named Sandy uh, and her and her husband also do uh, vlogs on their channel she has a great personality really contagious down to earth our makeup style are very similar our outfit styles are very similar so I know you guys are really going to enjoy her so I will list her channel down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started for primer I'm using the Maybelline baby skin this is probably one of the best drugstore primers for actually filling in your pores uh, and you can find it at any drugstore for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Cushion, and this is a newbie that I picked up a few weeks ago, and I think I actually like it a little bit better than the L'Oreal Cushion. Uh, something about it just seems to sit on my face a little bit uh, better than the L'Oreal one does, and it also has a bit more coverage. Uh, I'm using the shade, I think Warm Nude. It's a little dark on me, but you know, we'll even that out. Don't worry about it. And I also think I'm the only person on this planet that likes to use the little uh, applicator that comes in the compact uh, yay nay let me know if you like those because I feel like I'm odd men out there for concealer I'm using the Maybelline wow I didn't realize uh, these three products that I use were all Maybelline in a row uh, Maybelline cream I think it's called the creamy brightening crayon uh, <laughs> It's their crayon concealer and I'm using the lightest shade just to brighten up my under eye area. This was also a new product that um, I hadn't used until this video. I actually kind of liked it. Um, it wasn't the creamiest, but I like the brightening effect that it gave my face. To set my face, I'm using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation and uh, I just got this as well because so many people have recommended it. Haven't tried it as a powder foundation yet, just as a setting powder, so I'll keep you updated on that. And then I'm taking the number 7 bronzer. I think this one's in Golden Sand. And can I just tell you about these brushes I'm using, you guys? Okay, so I bet you're thinking this is the really expensive NARS brush. No, this is by Japanesque. And both this brush and the brush that I use for powder are their, um, I don't know what they're called, but you can get them at Ulta. And they're buy one, get one half off. And that makes them like $10 a piece. So it's pretty awesome. I will link them down below they are the shiz okay for blush i'm using the uh, physician's formula butter blush in vintage rose and then i'm taking a highlighter from uh the maybelline not maybelline the rimmel contour trio and i'm using another japanese brush i just i went ham on the japanese brushes and i'm really pleased with the quality and the price they're somewhere in between like uh, Sigma and Real Techniques prices kind of in the middle line there for eyeshadow we're actually only using one eyeshadow for this entire look so uh, brace yourselves it's, it's super easy all you do is uh, pick up whatever you can use a dark brown you can use a green you can use purple you can use whatever uh, just pick up a little bit on your brush I'm using a pencil brush and I'm just buffing that all on my eyelid and I'm concentrating most of the color on my lower lid and then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of just disperse the rest uh, all over my crease and a little bit up towards my brow bone and I'm just gonna to repeat this motion and it kind of creates um, this transitional effect to where it looks like you've put two or three shadows on but in reality you've only used one shadow so um, I'm just using a dark brown from Maybelline again I think it's their expert wear shadow 
and yeah this is like this is one of my favorite everyday eye techniques uh, it works really well especially if you have almond or hooded shape eyes uh, and it's really fast and uh, wearable then I'm just sweeping that excess brown onto my lower lash line and uh, that's pretty much it. Just added a little bit of definition to the lower lash line. Then I went in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. This one is a black brown formula because you guys know for daily wear I really like using uh, more of a brown mascara. I think it's less harsh especially with my skin tone. And for lips I'm using the L'Oreal Color Riche. Uh, lip liner in the shade or in the number <laughs> 114 and then for the actual lipstick I'm using the infallible lip paint in let me let me just see I've got it right here in festival and that completes the look now let's move into outfits Look number one is very feminine and dainty and kind of like modern day baby spice is what I would call it. I don't know. I feel like these colors are very baby spice. Shout out to all the Spice Girls fans out there. Um, so my top is from H&M. Absolutely love it. It also comes in pink. The skirt is from Forever 21. My bag is from Just Fab. And my pink slip-ons are from Gap. So everything is really affordable. This entire look was probably under, uh, well, if you exclude the bag, because I think the bag is always like, what, 39 bucks from Just Fab. Um, but the entire look was probably probably $50 or under and I just love the skirt it's a corduroy detail um, and it's really an appropriate length in my opinion it's not too short but it's not obviously like really really long uh, you know if you're in high school may not be able to be able to swing this one with the dress codes but hey I, we're, we're just gonna go with it we're gonna go with the flow here look two is uh, more casual this is like me basically on an everyday uh, basis the cutoff is from forever 21 and my jeans are from h&m and i think the cardigan was also from forever 21 it's kind of old but i'm almost 99.9% .9 sure it's from forever 21 as well and my sandals were from um old navy and i just love this look i think it's just kind of like cool girl casual <laughs> uh, i don't know it's just what i would pretty much wear on an everyday basis if i could love me some mom jeans slash boyfriend jeans and love me some like graphic tees so this outfit is definitely me Look three is another casual cutie look. I don't know where I'm coming up with these names. Casual cutie. I really don't know. Uh, but another skirt. This one is denim. It's slightly longer as well. And then I've got a graphic tee on. It says Camp Life. Uh, the tee is from Forever 21. The skirt is from Forever 21 as well. My bag is from H&M. And my shoes. Oh, shout out to that scrunchie there. Uh, scrunchie is from Walmart. <laughs> And these shoes are from, ooh, are these from Gap or Old Navy? I think they're from Old Navy. They're actually, I know they're from Old Navy. The slides are Old Navy. Uh, so again, super affordable. And uh, I don't know, I just really like this look. I've been into skirts lately. I'm probably the last person to jump on that trend. But I'm here, we're doing it now. And I'm loving it. And that is it for the makeup and outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Alana. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.